Never thought I'd be so far from home. Welcome back to our vlog. Got my coffee. Grace is not with me. Got into a little fight this morning. Uh, kind of got a little mad about that she has not paid the insurance for four months. It's an insurance I didn't even know we had, by the way. It's a. Uh, I don't even know what it is. But it cost me $450 when I woke up this morning. Nothing. Just because she didn't pay the bill. I still bought her a coffee. I'm just halfway an asshole. It's a uh, Easter. We're not going to do Easter hunt because it'd be very boring. I and mean, there's no way to buy candy right now anyway. Grace tried to get us out of the house this morning. Um, she was trying to get us to go. Um, she wanted to walk to Starbucks. Ultimately, we all agreed that we didn't want to do it. So what else happened? There's so many ways we can get sick. We didn't know that, right? It's like in the normal time before that. I mean, no wonder we always catch the flu. We never know where it came from. But now we got our mask. We even got a box of glove. How many gloves there is in there? We have a hundred glove. Hung glove. That's a lot of glove, right? I'm getting so fat. It's ridiculous. Look at this. I've gained everything that I've lost over the last... I was running for like, what, six, seven months last year? And I've, I've lost tons of weight and I gain it all back. We're all back to square one now. I got to start again running, eat a lot of salads, do exercise. I don't even want to do exercise. That's a problem. I don't even want to start. I'm too lazy. I'm not, I'm not, I reached that, you know, that now it is going to take, you know, when you move a, a, a really heavy wagon, it takes a lot of strength to get it going. Once it's gone, it's fine. But I feel like right now I'm at the push where I got to... <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, it's just not happening. I just don't have the strength to, to get the wagon to start. The last video I ran, right? I ran twice last week, two kilometers. Thought I was going to die every single time. I didn't die. I guess I got to have to do it. So we got one more subscriber. We're at 118 now, guys. <laughs> Very happy. I also learned how to do the cartwheel in my last video. You proud of me? Oh, Gab and Charlotte got sick this week. They both puke at the same day, all day. We were like, oh, maybe they have the COVID-19, but it's, it's not because it's not a symptom apparently. And then the day after was over. So I think they ate too much chips. Grace went to Costco, she bought a gigantic bag of chips. Shada has one that she really liked. Gabby had the Doritos. And then like a day and a half later, they were all empty. They're gigantic, they're huge. Curiously, they were both puking. I think it has something to do with that. Otherwise, we uh, it's a sunny day. It's a happy day. It's a sunny day. It's Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to you. You know, it's curious. Like I don't even miss our normal life. I feel like that should be our normal life where we don't care. We don't stress. We don't worry. We just go through our day. We're just looking for activities, ways to enjoy ourselves, not feeling too bored. Right now we're worried because we're feeling bored at home, right? But it's kind of cool. Like, I don't have to worry about, like, everything is slow. I do still receive payments. <laughs> People want to be paid for stuff. In our family, guys, you should know, Grace is in charge of the finance. That's her wish. That's what she wanted. She wanted to care of all of this. I didn't really want to. I didn't grow up like this. I wanted to pay my own stuff and her pay her own stuff. Eventually, I, she won. And, you know, I gave her access to all the bank account and everything. And then, and, then, and then now we're sharing mostly debt. There's no money anyway. Now we're sharing the bank account. So then she handled everything, paid the payments and everything. Unfortunately, she forget to pay a lot of things. So it does a lot of sparkle, like... <laughs> like this morning, but uh, usually lasts a couple hours and we go back to normal. So I'm gonna bring her coffee this morning and we'll hug it out and move on. We're together for the best and the worst, right? And we're all good at something and we're bad at others. So I'm not really blaming her for this. I just don't know why she's so stubborn and she still wanna do it. She insists that she likes to do it somehow. I don't know what it is. Hey, we're not on the street, right? So that's the good news, it's a good thing. Maybe one day I could take over the finance and just do it myself. Maybe that would be less stressful for her. Because, I, you know, I think it's stressing her out too. Maybe I should take over eventually. Maybe that'll make her feel better. That would make me feel better that I know that. We don't have to think about it today, right? Talk.
I had an idea on my way here. Since she loved doing finance so much, maybe we could go on uh, Udemy or uh, Skillshare or something like that. Find some course on how to do your personal finance. Maybe we can watch it together and like try to organize it together. Then she can take over and keep doing it on her own, but with a better organization. Let's get to it. I'm gonna go see if I can find something online before I talk to her. Let's go on Udemy first and see if we can find anything there. Personal finance master class, easy guide to better finances. Only 4.2 though, it's not really high. That one's interesting. It's Pete the Planner, it's the highest rated somehow. Hmm, maybe we need to create a budget plan. We never did that. See, me and Grace, we the money comes in and when there's no more money, there's always new money coming in. There's, so we never ran out of money, it's always good and happy. And But then maybe we spend too much on things that we shouldn't be spending on. It's hard to look at yourself, don't we? It's hard to judge yourself. I, I don't want change, I hate change. Am I gonna have to stop my Starbucks? I hope she does want to watch it with me though. I hope she's not like, I don't want to do that. I have other things to do today. I'll watch it by myself. $13.99, pretty good deal too. And the wish list. We're gonna watch that. It's a 40 minutes. This one has 55 rating, that's pretty high. I think we're gonna start with that one. It's Peter Dunn. So now let's go see Grace and tell her about that solution, option, possibility. And uh, let's see how she reacts and if she, uh, let's, let's do it together. That's why we're together. We can do it together. Let's go. This is my place. You do it somewhere else. Then just turn off my phone. Don't make any noise. Try to what? get out of here. I'm recording yeah. with mama. This is my table. You go to somewhere else. This is the best one. You just show up here. I was here. The lighting is better here. Because I want to be here. All right, I'll go up. You want to come with me? Oh, let's go somewhere else. This, this is my office. Just take one second. Come on. Yeah. So wait. You know how this morning I got mad because the insurance was not paid for four months? No, it's not the insurance. It's like a thing where we put $25 per kid for their education fund and they just automatically withdraw it. But I actually didn't notice that they were not withdrawing it anymore. Go! Well, you know, you always wanted to control the finance, right? That was your thing. You always wanted to be in charge of the finance. I don't even want to, but okay. You don't want to? <laughs> no. Go! <laughs> I, okay. I have an idea, okay? To help you manage the finance. I think there's tricks and ways and things we can do to make it better. Yeah. So I went online and I found something called on Udemy. I've used it before to learn how to edit videos and stuff from like Potato Jet. I found three classes that I think we can take together and see if it helps. Yeah, okay. The kids are busy this afternoon anyway, so let's go in my office, let's watch this together okay. and we'll see if it works. Yeah, let's right, do let's it. Let's go. Okay. Apparently Grace never wanted to do the finance, so I might have been wrong. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure that's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> But then, then she changed her she changed her idea now. So I'm gonna take the class on my own. So I'm back here for my second coffee today at Starbucks. Uh, now I'm not even sure if I wanted to make this video today. I, I had no idea. Like, I don't know if I'm actually gonna edit that movie or put it online. I'm not sure. But this is a story. I felt like giving up and stopping. But it, it's a story. It's a story of our life, and it's not always super happy and enjoyable and everything. And hopefully there'll be a happy ending. We'll see. But I'll do what I can to make things better. That's what matters. And I love Grace and she loves me and I know that. I think it's gonna get better. It's just like some days, you know, I feel like the pandemic, like the whole isolation thing is weighing on shoulder too. I comes here twice a day to get coffee now. The reason is like, I need to get out of the house and do something. What else would you do, right? They go take a walk. All right, it's fine and run. Okay, all right, it's fine. But like at one point being around the house with three kids and Grace and I alone, it's uh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work mentally. Can't play PlayStation, can't use my computer. Somebody's on a computer, someone's on my phone. I think bath sometimes at six o'clock at night because I got nothing to do. I don't even know what day it is today. I know it's Easter, but uh, it must be Sunday. I think it's Sunday, but I don't, I don't know the date. So yeah, so that's what it does. It's really messing me up. Gonna have to try to figure out a solution for that. Meanwhile, let's learn a little bit about finance. Let's try to get this on track. So when things go back to normal, we're gonna be all, and, 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 and I can sleep in my bedroom tonight with Grace as well. I don't wanna sleep on the couch. Yeah, I gonna have a grande pike. Grande pike, something inside? Uh, no, dark. Yesterday I was, I had people behind my car that were walking to the drive-thru. Anything works? Five ply, 
six ply mix. Sick and tired of being uh, being told. Listen to that. Just open and this is if you happen to share your finances with someone that you're in a relationship with a significant other and that relationship shares money. I never have a spontaneous money conversation with your significant other because it won't end well. Well, money is stressful, and in which occurs the most frequently on your statement line, whatever that one category of spending is, is the one category that you can have the most effect on by reducing the frequency of which it occurs. For I looked at my statement, I buy $170 a month in Starbucks coffee. If you guys have any idea how to cope with the uh, headache that comes with the fact that you stopped drinking coffee, well, let me know down below because I might need it in the next few days. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna... St Sorry, Starbucks, I love you, but... It's a lot of money, really. Well, here's what I'm gonna do based on what Pete's is telling me right now, is I'm gonna take that $170 a month in coffee and I'm gonna put it into a saving account. So not only am I gonna stop my spending on it, but I'm gonna save it. I don't know why for, maybe buy a new camera lens? I don't know, we'll see. All right guys, so I'm gonna watch this and I'll see you after. Class over with Pete. Our friend here is gonna have to go. It is very sad, but I think we're spending way too much time together. So I'm gonna have to act on this and get it go. Money that's gonna be saved is gonna go to saving account. Oh, here we go again, yeah. Look what I found. It's a leftover from yesterday. Oh, here we go again. It might work for today. Let's do it one more time. Now my only concern is how am I gonna get rid of the headache tomorrow morning when I wake up because when you don't drink coffee, you know how it is. My head's gonna bang, so we're gonna have to figure out if you have a trick, write them down below here because that's definitely gonna be a problem. Other than that, paying the small debt loan, I've already made a payment right after my class with Pete on my camera gear that I hold. So I put a $200 towards that because the interest rate was at 14%, 13%, which is way higher than my credit card and my margin credit. I'm gonna pay that off right away. Our situation's pretty good, actually. After looking at all of this, the payment of the house, uh, we don't have car payments. So I think it's pretty, pretty good. Looking at your finance, looking at your <laughs> the document, actually makes you more calm and more secure. And maybe my reaction this morning was a little bit overwhelmed. Three things out of this. Paying the highest interest rate is one option. Otherwise paying the smallest amount of debt that you have, getting your way through, getting rid of spending that comes more regularly, which is in this case, Starbucks, unfortunately, don't need that. And also try to be more aware of my account and my finance. So I think once a month, me and Grace, we're gonna look into our finance, try to figure it out moving forward. Thanks for following us guys. I love you. Give us a good thumbs up. Never give up. Stay positive. And we'll see you guys in our next episode. Did you just kiss me because one camera? Of course. It's Hollywood, <laughs> baby. Everything's fake.